Hey, this is Professor Perez. In this video, we are going to solve some word problems, but let's not tell Charlie. He gets very anxious when he finds out he has to solve some word problems. Let's see if he's ready to go. Charlie, what are you doing over there? We're doing your favorite subject today, word problems. Oh, Quit fooling around over there, Charlie. What? Let's get started right there. What number must be subtracted from 0 0.34 to obtain 6.46? We need to set up an equation, and we have an unknown number. We are going to let x represent that unknown quantity. So what number x must be subtracted from? So x is being taken away from something, so that subtraction has to go in front of the x. Well, what is it being subtracted from? 0 0.34, so that goes out in the front. To obtain gets replaced with equals 6.46. There we go. There's our equation. Now to solve this equation, we have to isolate that variable term, which is just the x. Since we have 0 0.34 subtract x, we're going to subtract 0 0.34 from both sides. 0 0.34 subtract 0 0.34 is 0, and 0 subtract x is negative x. On the right-hand side, we have 6.46 subtract 0.34 and we get 6.12. Now notice we have negative x or negative 1 times x equals 6.12. Since it's negative 1 times x, we need to divide out that negative 1 to get the 1x by itself. So we divide both sides by negative 1. Negative divided by negative is positive and so we get x on the left hand side and the right hand side is negative 6.12. So negative 6.12 must be subtracted from 0 0.34 to obtain 6.46. Okay, let's try this problem here. A rental company charges $22.50 a day plus 15 cents a mile. If you rented a car for two days and drove a total of 237 miles, how much will you be charged? Let's set up an equation. We need to find out what our total cost is. Our total cost will be the cost for mileage and the cost for the days, right? We are renting the car for two days and each day costs $22.50. So two times $22.50 represents the cost for their days. And now we have to add the mileage. Well, we drove 237 miles and each mile cost 15 cents or $0.15 and that represents the cost for mileage, 237 times 0 0.15. Those two costs will add up to the total cost. Charlie, you got your calculator? Yeah. Okay, what's 2 times 22.50? 45. 45, or $45 in this case. Okay, Charlie, what's 237 times 0 0.15? 3555. Very nice, $35.55. So our total cost is $80.55 to rent the car for two days and drive 237 miles. Let's do another one here. Let's do one of those famous coin problems. Okay, Charlie, pay attention. <laughs> Candace has $5.45 in quarters and dimes. So part of these coins are quarters and part of them are dimes. She has five less dimes than she has quarters. So if she has 20 quarters, that means she has 15 times. How many quarters and dimes does she have? Typical coin problem. They show up all the time. Somebody asked me this this morning, by the way. What? Never mind, Charlie. Let x represent the number of quarters, because we have to find the number of quarters and the number of dimes. So let's let x represent the number of quarters. Now, since she has five less dimes, if x represents the number of quarters, then x subtract 5 represents the number of dimes. Now, if you had 5 quarters, you have $1.25, because 0.25 times 5 is 1.25. If you have 7 dimes, 0 0.10 times 7 is 70 cents, right? That's the value of the dimes, if you have 7 dimes. Well, here, we do not know how many quarters we have, but we know a quarter has a value of 0.25, and we have x amount of quarters, so 0.25x represents the value of quarters. That's 0.25 times x, right? Now for the value of the dimes, we take 0.10 and multiply by the number of dimes we have. In this case, it's x subtract 5. There's the value of dimes. 
and the value of the quarters plus the value of the dimes has to equal $5.45 because that's the total value. So there is our equation. Now we've got to solve for x. Notice we have parentheses, but we can't combine what's in the parentheses because they are not like terms. But how do we get rid of the parentheses? What property do we use, Charlie? The distributive. Very nice there. Okay, so we have 0.25x. Now we have 0 0.10 times x, which is 0.10x. Subtract. 0.10 times 5 is 0 0.50. And this is equal to 5.45. Now, we combine like terms. 0.25x plus 0.10x is 0.35x. And let's bring down our work. Let's move up here. We have to isolate the variable term, 0.35x. So we'll add 0.50 to both sides. Those cancel there. And on the left-hand side, we're left with 0.35x. And the right-hand side is 5.95. And now, we have 0.35 times x. So we need to divide out that 0.35. So we divide both sides by 0.35. And we get x equals 5.95 divided by 0 0.35. Charlie, what'd you get for that calculation? 17. 17, that's right. So re remember, x represented the number of quarters. So there are 17 quarters. Now, x subtract 5 represents the number of dimes. Well, if x is 17, then 17 subtract 5 is 12, and that represents the number of dimes. It makes sense because we know there's five less dimes than there are quarters. If we look at it, we have 17 quarters and we have five less dimes, which is 12. 12 dimes is $1.20. 17 quarters is how much, Charlie? 425, very nice there. And if you add $4.25 to $1.20, you do get a total of $5.45. That's it for now, we'll see you again soon.